Greetings to all of you, my dear sisters and brothers, and my dear friends. A warm welcome to all of you. I'm your pastor, Yadi. We are Friday, and this is the end of our week in having our story, our values, our actions, and prayers. So it's Friday, we're going to pray, and starting a new week next Monday. Narrative. Dear Father, there have been many times when I have wandered in the wilderness of disbelief, murmuring and rebellion, wondering indeed if you really have my best interests at the heart. I know that I make life far more difficult when I question your purposes and resist what would in the end be the smoother and simple course sin against your complications say that again sin against you complicates and confuses my life and only leads to pain and regret in the end please give me the gift of your wisdom and grace to think biblically in these moments of doubting. Your goodness and provision so that by your power I will turn fear into faith. Then I will be increasingly liberated from the oppressive weight of circumstances and view my situations in light of your perfect character. I desire to grow in faith, hope and love, and to cling firmly to your loving purposes. Orthodoxy. O oh Lord, why do I trust you in some areas of my life, but look for other resources when I need help in other areas? How is it possible for me to trust you for my eternal destiny and then look to the world for everything else. Please deliver me from the disease of compartmentalization in which I merely make you one component of my life and put other things like my work, my family and friends in other compartments. Give me the faith to truly believe that you alone must occupy the center of my being, my aspirations, my hope, my purpose, my everything. Then I will see other things from an eternal perspective and realize that everything comes from you and is for you. I want to recommit myself to the Lordship of Christ in each spur of my existence and enjoy the holy release of desire to one thing that is needed above everything else. Orthopathy. God, I ask that I would experience a growing desire for you and for the things you declare to be important. I also ask that this living desire would express itself in an ever-increasing willingness to take the risks of faith so that I will honor you by treasuring your will of my life, for my life. I want to discipline myself for the sake of the Christ-likeness so that I will run the holy race with endurance and fight the good fight in your strength. I acknowledge that this life is no gain, that the stakes are eternal. I recognize that there is a cost of discipleship and that the spiritual formation does not come naturally. May I be dependent on your promises and provision so that I will honor you through the risks of price, of obedience. Orthopraxy. Lord, I thank you 
that you have created me in your image and then giving me the dignity of being capable capable of moral choices that genuinely affects my journey and destiny. By your grace, may I exercise this moral and spiritual capacity by taking the steps of faith, especially in times when my flesh resists this process and when fears prevent me from trusting you. I realize that there are times in my life when you ask me to make this the first step because you don't want to force me into obedience but desire me willing co cooperation with your glorious intentions. I recognize that without you, I cannot. But without me, you will not. May I strengthen my resolve to be your loving servant and child so that I will pursue the course you have set before me in spite of my fears and natural resistance. All these words, I didn't pray cheap. May you consider, Father, giving these prayers to you and all the people who were listening, receiving these words, the giving thoughts and desires in their own lives. My dear ones, may the Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I let Him bless you and the ones close to your heart. Have a wonderful and great weekend. I wish that to all of you, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yeti. Bye.